So, the release of TDX, the game releases in late 2023 so we pretty much have to wait less than 3 months, the exact date is unknown, I'm not even sure if John knows. But in case anyone is wondering. I will speculate on when the game will release near the end of the video but until then I'll be talking about events that will happen at or around the TDX release and not much about the release date itself, ok now to start. The effects on tower defense games as a whole the current state of Roblox tower defense games is something, tower defense games are getting dry to the average player. I mean there's 30k players playing a tower defense games about toilets, will the average Roblox player's age is like 6. As I said before tower defense games are getting dry, grindy and there's just so many TV games and not many are good, nothing brings anything new to the table. But then comes along a new TV game a very hyped game, many people will play it hoping it's different, better than the other games, it'll be like TDS was 3 years ago. Everyone will play it, and as a huge Roblox game it'll gain a lot of attraction to TD games on Roblox. A lot of small TD games aren't going to show up on front pages but one huge one will always show up. Yes if there are TD games on the front page but one huge game will get a lot of people to talk about it, bringing a lot of people to the tower defense genre. Because of this TD games will most likely lose their old players but gain some new players. Now I will talk about something people definitely won't like. TDX is overrated, yes yes I said it's overrated, I'm not saying it's bad I think it's a very good game, but wait, how can I be sure it's a good game if I haven't played it? Well I played the early demo that released on April Fool's Day but it wasn't a good example of the game, there was barely anything there, you haven't played the game unless you're John or something. I haven't played the game so how can we truly be sure that it's the best game ever, really tell me, what is so good about the game. The graphics well yes the graphics are extremely good but what's good graphics if there aren't any updates, or the game is really buggy or boring. Also right now the game is pretty much like any other game. Three difficulties a few different game modes like endless and maybe some other which not many games do but it is still semi common. There's nothing really special about it except for the fact that a YouTuber with 1.2 million subscribers is making it. Now I'll talk about events happening with TDX instead of around TDX, I mean events like stuff happening not events like winter events. So TDX will have a crossover with tower battles getting a lot of people to play tower battles, who knows how long they'll play it for, I mean it hasn't gotten an update in almost 2 years so. TDX opened for one and a half hours on April 1st of 2023, if you played at all during that time you'd have been awarded a badge, around 5000 people have gotten that badge. People with that badge will be getting something special, though John never said what it will be, alright now YouTube, how will it affect YouTube? Right now TDS is the biggest Roblox tower defense game on YouTube, that is going to change 100%. TDX is being made by a YouTuber with over 1 million subscribers so already a vast majority of the people who are excited for TDX watch YouTube, and since TDS will sort of die so will TDS YouTubers. I mean TDS content is already dying, most TDS YouTubers will switch to making TDX content, that's about it for events around the release, 